listening sessions. We want to hear from you. Thank you. Uh, the next, uh, combining two questions from the audience, and they are addressed to all individuals, and we will start with uh, Sandy Mason. Um, state finances have lurched from crisis to crisis with dishonest gimmicks and borrowing. Will the new proposed budget eliminate this? And then piggybacking onto this, where is the Department of Waste and Overspending on here? What percent of the human um, of health of health services, I can't read all this, what percent of the health health and human services is cash welfare? I guess I don't understand that one quite as well, but basically it's for the Department of Waste and Overspending, and uh, will the new proposals in the budget eliminate this balance to give them priority? Sandy? That, that to me is a priority. Oh, go ahead. That last one, I think that the what percent of the health and human services are in the welfare. Um, I don't know the, the current percentage. It's a number that uh, the cash payments and so on is a, it's a number that about a year ago we, we tried to compile. It ends up being a very, it, it was like 7%, I think. I, that's just a perspective. That's, I'm sure that's not the exact number now, but it's a, it's a pretty small percent of the health and human services budget. Most of the health and human services budget is going for health care related things, and, and most of it's actually going to senior citizens. Uh, I've heard that, I shouldn't say senior citizens, the elderly people, uh, things like nursing homes and, and those kinds of payments. So there, there, is, there are those cash payments in there. There is what would be called welfare in there, but it's a pretty small percentage of it. Okay, Sandy. Okay, item one, that's what I campaigned on is that we, I'm committed to doing away with the next certainly the school shifts the borrowing on the tobacco funds. To me, we're totally irresponsible. I wanted something for long <coughs> term. Uh, and I'm gonna make a couple of things. One is, for instance, again, going back to meeting with the county officials, when they're talking about the human services budget, they're saying, you know, the more that we can get uh, technology advances, it would make their job a lot easier and more efficient and that is one of the, because right now I think for every, there are about four programs that I'm thinking of uh, with, uh, that the county has to uh, relate to, I think like child support, child care, and there's a couple others. And right now the data has to be in, put in from every single one of those programs. So if there's a way we can get the technology to make it so they only put in the, uh, the information once and it's available to everybody, that's gonna be a time saving. Uh, there's one other thing uh, that, uh, yeah. listening to public safety the other day, they're doing a, uh, yeah. a project about fraud, and what they're doing is going through all the driver's license and comparing faces, and so to see where there's duplications of faces, and maybe in some cases it's a matter of twins, it might be somebody that changed their names. But the deal is, how many people, other than that, have more than one driver license, and that makes it easier for them to fraud. So those are things that I think we need to be looking at. Representative Morgan. Um, it's been a while since you asked a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will repeat Thank them you. again. State finances have lurched from crisis to crisis with dishonest gimmicks and borrowing. Will the new proposed budget eliminate this? And where is the Department of Waste and Overspending on here? I hope that we come up with a budget solution that does not rely on gimmicks and borrow. That, that would be my preference. I think that is what we have in the end. Uh, the proof will be in the pudding this coming in. Um, there is probably waste in a lot of places. I think the question is how much and how much does it cost to find it all? I mean, sometimes fraud is very hard to track down. And how many people do we have to hire <laughs> to track down all the fraud? And how much are we saving based on how much are we spending? Does that help the budget or does that hurt the budget? These, these are all things that we have to continue to examine at the state level. We have to look for ways, we have to look for fraud, we have to find efficiencies. Uh, we all deserve it as taxpayers. I don't know. We all deserve the best value for our tax dollars. So I'm committed to doing that, continue to do that as I did. Thank you. Bill Marks, do you wish to comment on any of these questions? No? Okay. 
Um, we do have quite a few questions. Oh, we don't need to Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The new budget, yes. Uh, the answer to that is yes. This budget is intended to stop the gimmicks, to stop the uh, the seesaw, to stop having the, the counties, the school districts, and all of those people that get, or that, those organizations that get money from the state government so that they can plan a bit better. And in fact, I didn't add that to my last, the answer to the last question is that when we talk about cutting something, that's the, the charge now that the legislators have from the governor, is if you're talking about not paying for something, come up with an alternative. Either come up with where you're gonna save the money, or come up with how else you're going to collect the revenue. So that's that's the charge that I'm, I also wanna hear from you too, is that you know, we're not going to cut out all the nursing homes. It's just not gonna happen. If you wanna do that, then come up with the alternative. If you think that perhaps the the community can step in or something like that with billions of dollars, then, you know, let's hear that. Uh, the, and I, I wanted to mention about uh, fraud and waste. Uh, there, of course there is, but, you know, we do have to go after it in, like uh, Representative Morgan said, you have to hire people to do that. Uh, the EBT cards is something that people have talked about a lot, and that's the electronic, uh, I can't remember, it's the credit card that, you, that people use, electronic benefits. Uh, and some people have used those, sold those, done, done really bad things with them. But the average transaction is somewhere around 10 bucks. So do we spend $500 to go after a $10 um, fraud? And in fact, the department has said over and over again that these EBT cards are a much more efficient way of going, of uh, controlling our spending expenditures in that particular area. So EBT cards are actually the solution to something that we've had in the past. Okay, thank you. And it's been asked that the representatives speak more loudly or closer to your microphone as some people cannot hear in the back. Um, we're gonna move on, to, I'm gonna combine two for education and read both of them and we'll be starting out with Will, Representative Will Morgan. And this one was addressed specifically to him. As an educator and state representative, please address how you can support the governor's potential delaying the um, money owed to the school districts. And do you support the governor's proposal to take away local school uh, school districts' levy authority to fund um, integration programs? Okay, Will Morgan, Representative? Uh, my preference would be that we pay back the shift uh, by the end of this by any. That would be my preference. Uh, the governor has said that we should do it by the end of the following biennium. Uh, there's a difference there. Uh, there are relative costs there. Uh, there, are rel there are implications for school districts. Uh, some school districts are telling us the end of the next biennium is fine. Some school districts are telling us, no, we really want to have that money now. Uh, we're going to have those conversations. My preference right now would be to pay it back this biennium. So, um, I'm not, uh, again, there, there are, the, the governor and his people put his budget together. They didn't consult us. <laughs> we don't work for him. Um, so there are a lot of details about the governor's budget that we're still waiting to get to and hear about in committee hearings. So I'm not actually aware of that proposal. Uh, so before I comment on it, I'd, I'd really like to know more of the details. Uh, Philosophically speaking, I, I like more local control for school districts rather than less. But when it gets down to specific issues, you know, sometimes there are reasons to do things a different way. So I'd like to know more about that proposal than uh, before I answer.